Kia ora koukou. Here I am in our library this afternoon on a Friday. And the really great thing about it being Friday is that we get to have our assemblies. And at our assemblies we recognise the hard work that our tamariki have put in to their school week. And this week we were able to recognise our wonderful readers. The great thing about it being here at Cobham is that we have readers. We have people that love reading to themselves, to each other, and love listening to their teachers read them stories. And that is why I continue to read my stories, because I want, like I love reading, I want everybody to love and enjoy reading too. So today's new book is called Rosie's Radical Rescue Ride. And I really enjoyed the alliteration in that title today, so I thought, oh, I'm going to read that to our Cobham Fano. And the story is by Kyle Mewborn, he is the author, and the illustrator, the person who did the pictures, is Mike Howie and Flux Animation. And you may not be able to see, but some of these pictures are quite glossy, and they're very cool. Um, I can see them when I'm looking at them, and I'm unsure if you will be able to. Rosie's Radical Rescue Ride. Now this is a new story that even I haven't read before, so it's all going to be new to me as well. Down on the farm, there's plenty to do, like fixing machines and hosing out poo. But now summer's here, it's time to make hay, to keep the cows fed through the cold winter days. Grumbling like thunder, the big tractor drives, pulling a mower with blades sharp as knives. Then all of a sudden, the engine just croaks, belching and farting a plume of black smoke. <laughs> Look, even the cow's worried. Yeah, the farmer looks a little bit worried as well. Farmhand Matt cries, the tractor has failed. Now how will we get all the hay cut and baled? The weather report says a storm's on its way. The hay will be ruined if it's not baled today. Mm -mm. The cow looks a little bit sad. Maybe he's just worried that the lightning bolt's going to get him. He's stomping and cursing, his face is bright red, when the herd wanders past on their way to the shed. Don't worry, Moose Rosie, we'll still beat the weather if we just use our heads and cow-operate together. The cows all get hitched with thick ropes galore. They heave and they hoe in a fierce tug of war. Yet try as they might, the mower won't budge and heavy cow hooves trample hay into sludge. Oh dear. Slipping and sliding, they sprawl in the mud while Rosie stands thinking and chewing her cud. The cows are exhausted and Matt is dismayed, but Rosie's just spotted a different blade. Good on, Rosie. She snatches up Toby and grabs his back paws. There's nothing as sharp as a big tomcat's claws. Faster meows Toby, it's incredible fun as he swings back and forth like a cat pendulum. Oopsie. 
his razor sharp claws slash right through the hay, but at this rate it'll take them a month of Sundays. So Rosie starts twirling like a big spinning top. Faster and faster, oh no, they can't stop. Down Rosie burrows as fast as a miner. In no time at all, they'll end up in China. With a gurgle and a rumble, a geyser erupts. They crash in a heap when Toby throws up. wind sweeps down, the storm's nearly here. What a catastrophe! there'll be no hay this year. Then an old sheet of roofing iron goes skidding past. Murika grins Rosie, but we have to act fast. They race up the hill in an a stampede. There's a stack of old iron. It's more than they need. Follow me, yells Rosie, barking out orders. Here comes the cavalry of bovine boarders. <laughs> oh dear. They swoop back and forth in a half pipe of grass cutting great swathes of hay with each pass. They slalom and swerve, just watch them go. Soon all the hay's lying in orderly rows. <laughs> they skid to a halt, then take a big bow. Nothing works better than farming know-how. Their winter feeds safe, what calorific news. But all they want now is a lovely long snooze. And that is the end of our story about Rosie. And in the back of our book here, there's Rosie's world. And it says, do you want to know more about Rosie? There's a whole world out there. So if you go to rosiesworld.co.nz, you can learn fun stuff, Rosie's blog about Rosie, Rosie's club, movies about farms. What I might do is I'll put the rosiesworld.co.nz link up on our school page. And then everyone can go and have a look and see what Rosie does in her spare time. Fano, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you all back here on Monday. Kaki Tianon.